Let's say you have 48 hours in Byron Bay and you want to soak up the most of what this place has to offer. Here's what you're going to do. First up, head to Cape Byron Lighthouse for sunrise. As the most eastern point in Australia, this is a beautiful spot to watch the morning start. So now it's about 9am and we're off diving because one of the best parts of Byron is underwater. So if you're anything like me, by now you're probably starving. Right now we're heading to one of my favourite places in Byron to eat, Main Street Burger Bar. Now the pool here is obviously their burgers, but their thick shakes are reason enough alone to stop in. So grab one on your way through. Haha, <laughs> you thought you were getting the afternoon off, hey? Not today. If there's one thing Byron's known for, it's its surf culture. The best way to get involved is to grab a board and head down to the pass. You can't come to Byron Bay without going for a surf, so grab a rental board or bring your own and soak up the Byron way of life. Alright, you've finally earned that rest. Head up to Main Beach with the rest of the locals and watch the sunset. Don't forget some snacks and maybe a drink. You can have the Arvo off from here. So we're starting our morning here at White's Beach for a sunrise, which is a beautiful secluded little beach with a bunch of really cool sea caves right down there at this far end. And this? There's like a tropical paradise 15 minutes out of Byron Bay. To top it off, Byron's got waterfalls. This is Killin' Falls and it's only 20 minutes from White's Beach or 40 from Byron. And it is definitely worth checking out. Right now to end the day, we're about to head to Top Shop, which is another one of Byron's best burger cafes with some awesome vibes. Until next time, 